Question one, I know the directions were to complete the table in the graph. We've got y equals 3x minus 2, and it says before graphing, what shape are you expecting the graph to be? And I know from looking at my function families, this is the linear function family, so I will expect to see some sort of line. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and fill these in. If I plug negative 3 in, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, and then minus 2 will give me negative 11, and then 3 times negative 2 will give me negative 6, minus 2 will give me negative 8, and then 3 times negative 1 will give me negative 3, minus 2 will give me negative 5, and then 0 times 3 is 0, minus 2 will give me negative 2, and then 3 times 1 will give me 3, minus 2 is 1, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4, and then 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2 is 7. So now I'm ready to graph. Excuse me, oh goodness, making that line didn't work out so well. Alrighty, the first two actually I don't think are going to fit on my graph, so I'm not going to worry about those. I'll just go ahead and graph the other ones. I've got negative 1, negative 5, so I've got negative 1, go to the left 1, and then down 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, put a dot there. Okay, and then we've got um, 0, negative 2, so stay put, and then go down 2. And then 1, 1, so go to the right 1, and then up 1. And then 2, 4, go to the right 2, and then up 4. And then 3, 7, we're going to go to the right 3, and up 7. And then notice it does form a nice line, so your line I'm sure will be much straighter than mine. But I'm going to do my best to connect them, and I do want to put arrows at the end. Right, number 2, um, y equals x squared minus 4, and again it says before graphing, what shape are you expecting the graph to be? Um, I know that there's a 2 here, so this is the quadratic function family, and we learned that the quadratic function family should look like a u when we are done, so that's what should happen. Okay, first one, when we plug in negative 3 and square it, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, minus 4 is 5. And then if I plug in negative 2, negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4, minus 4 is 0. And then negative 1, negative 1 squared means negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1, minus 4 is negative 3. And then plugging in 0, 0 squared is 0, minus 4 is negative 4. And then 1, 1 squared is 1, minus 4 is negative 3. And then 2, 2 squared is 4, minus 4 is 0. And then 3, 3 squared is 9, minus 4 is 5. So we are now ready to graph. Let's see if we can do a better job this time, not too much. Okay, so now graphing, we're at negative 3, 5, so go to the left 3 and up 5, put a point. Negative 2, 0, go to the left 2 and stay put. Uh, negative 1, negative 3, go to the left 1 and then down 3. 0, negative 4, stay put and go down 4. 1, negative 3, go to the right 1 and down 3. 2, 0, go to the right 2 and stay put. And then 3, 5, go to the right 3 and up 5. And it did make the U that I wanted it to make, so we're actually just going to go ahead and connect it now. And we've got it.